Flowcamp is a European trading network for researchers in the field of next generation redox flow batteries. It consists of the work of 15 PhD students on three different redox flow battery systems organic flow batteries, zinc air, and hydrogen bromine. My name is Jakub Wodarczyk, uh, a researcher and a PhD student at the Institute of Computational Physics, Zurich University of Applied Sciences in Switzerland. I work on modeling and simulation of hydrogen bromine flow batteries. The main advantage of the uh, bromine system is its excellent electrochemical performance at lower cost compared to the most commercial system, the vanadium flow battery. I'm responsible for the development of novel models and computer simulations of the hydrogen bromine flow battery system. By mathematical modeling, I mean trying to describe complex physical and chemical phenomena occurring in a battery with equations, and on that basis, predict the performance of the battery, for example, the electric current output, voltage or lifetime. My work can be compared to forecasting the weather. Uh, climate scientists use a whole range of mathematical weather models to predict the weather, uh, the result of which you see as colorful, vivid maps on TV. At the moment, I'm developing a model of the open circuit voltage, the OCV of the battery. Um, the open circuit voltage is the voltage which a battery attains when no current is withdrawn from it. Um, for example, an OCV of a fully charged lithium-ion battery cell in your smartphone uh, is slightly above uh, three and a half volts, uh, whereas for the hydrogen bromine flow battery, it is around one volt. I look at how the OCV is changing with respect to the concentration of the electrolyte and temperature. Flow batteries is an emerging technology and there is still plenty of room for their improvement. Mm, predictive models can accelerate the development of top-notch systems because of the reduced amount of actual lab experiments which would need to be conducted in order to examine the, the impact of the applied design changes uh, or process parameters. As a PhD candidate, it is important for me to publish my work in peer-reviewed journals um, so that I can receive feedback of experts and learn from that. Um, my next step is to prepare a publication on my currently developed model, as well as to begin with a new topic about modeling of flow phenomena um, in flow redox flow batteries, which can help designing um, novel porous electrode.